Rex back with another video in today's video to suggest is what if Naruto had the eight gates and the like goal for this video is going to be 400 likes so make sure to like share the video to a friend who likes what ifs or just anime content in general comment down below your thoughts and feelings down below check out my discord server in the description box and please subscribe to the channel as my goal is to get 5k by June and 10k by the end of the year and just to inform you, this is not a new what if on the channel, as I have done this before a decent amount of time ago. And I have seen some people do this idea, but just so you're aware, I am the originator of this idea, which was done about three months ago. Just today, I'm remastering it in a different way, if you will. Anyhow, so for starters, I think this story starts when Naruto steals the Scroll of Sealing. So all we're going to have to change is the eight gates being in the Scroll of Sealing. The eight gates should practically be in the scroll for the same reason that the Shadow Clone Jutsu was. Naruto would skim over everything in the scroll as fast as he could, seeing two things that intrigued him. The Shadow Clone Jutsu and the eight inner gates. Naruto learned the Shadow Clone's jutsu pretty easily due to his reserves and he tries to multitask learning the eight gates as we know that using shadow clone speeds up training time by miles naruto also realizes this technique and secret using it to his favor and making naruto be able to use the first and second gate also this means naruto will be much stronger than his counting counterpart as the estimated gain of the gates is about six times your base power Naruto would meet Mizuki, giving him the scroll, but before Mizuki could catch it, Aruka would appear, kicking it out of Mizuki's reach. Aruka and Mizuki would then have a standstill battle, with Naruto seeing that Mizuki had swallowed a drug that made him grow in size and gain the upper hand. Mizuki was shown to have these drugs in the Naruto manga and anime. Naruto would then activate the first gate, catching one of Mizuki's blows before it could connect with Aruka's body, throwing Aruka to the side of him. Aruka-sensei, sit back and relax. I'll deal with Mizuki on my own. No sweat! Naruto would then kick Mizuki. I hate when people harm the people I care about. You'll pay! Naruto would say this as he slammed his hands into Mizuki, pushing himself into the third gate as he did a barrel roll midair, bringing down his foot. Naruto's foot would then connect with Mizuki, creating a massive dust cloud as he fell out of the third gate back into the second. This dust cloud would then encase Mizuki as Naruto would grab Mizuki by his foot, swinging him into the tree. Mizuki would then realize that Naruto was pushing him so much so that he had built up a sweat and started to, well, feel endangered. Throwing seven kunai towards Aruka who was injured, unable to react. Naruto, within an instant, would see this using his body as a shield to block the kunai. Are you mocking me? We were in the middle of combat, and then you disregarded my existence. And lastly, you attacked my sensei when he was vulnerable, something I won't stand for. Now die! Naruto would say this as he grabbed Mizuki, picking him up by his foot and cracking it. He would then look at Aruka, and then at one of the kunai beside Aruka. Aruka would understand that Naruto needed the kunai, throwing it to him. Naruto would then stab this kunai into Mizuki, and through Mizuki's body. And with that disrespect, you shall pay with your life. Naruto would say this as he catapulted off of Mizuki, and kicked him to the dirt. Mizuki would then slowly start to die. Cursing. The existence of Naruto Uzumaki in Aruka, as well as leaking Orochimaru's location in his dying breath. As he was meant to steal the scroll and give up it to Orochimaru, Naruto would then debrief the reason about what had happened with Aruka with her reason, dispatching an Ombu search squad to locate Orochimaru, running dry on their trail. Naruto would then be rewarded the Genin rank, still scoring dead last as it wouldn't affect much as it is the day of the graduation. Naruto is then put on Team 7, and we will now start the bell test. Sasuke would immediately rush in fighting Kakashi, as Kakashi easily handled him with many ways of evading the young Uchiha. Naruto would then rush in as he watched Kakashi keenly studying his fighting style.
as best as possible. Naruto would then push Sasuke behind him, telling Sasuke that he's only boring Kakashi, so he should try to use some ninjutsu against the Jonin. Kakashi would then look at Naruto, telling him with a stern look that I'll make sure that Naruto understands that he will always be dead last. Naruto, countering this claim, would say that he'll show Kakashi that he should be at the top of the class. And why is that? Kakashi would proclaim. I beat a Chunin, right? That may be true, but there's still people like Sasuke who are above you. Fine, I'll show you that I'm a capable shinobi. I never said you weren't. Naruto would then tell Kakashi to shut up. As he did this, he would activate the first gate. But to everyone, even Kakashi, who hadn't activated his Sharingan, it had seemed like he had green chakra and muscle mass, maybe even a Kagagenkai of sorts. It had seemed that Kakashi's words were to bring out the deep power within Naruto, or the rage. And it accomplished just that. Could this have been Minato's Kagenkai? Kakashi thought to himself as Naruto ran towards him, kicking him forward. Kakashi would then activate his Sharingan, grabbing the kick. When did you get so fast? Kakashi would say this as he then threw Naruto to the ground. Naruto would then get up, dazed. Kakashi, seeing this, would activate the 1000 years of death jutsu. But before it could connect with Naruto's body, Sasuke would launch his Uchiha style great fireball jutsu, his rite of passage being from the Uchiha clan himself. This massive fireball would make Kakashi throw Naruto to the side as he fell into a nearby pond. Naruto would then activate the first gate to tank the fireball, with Kakashi doing the same, though it had seemed that only mere ash particles of the fireball hit Naruto, as he was a bit far away from it. And if you've made it this far into the video, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Kakashi would then remark, as he clashed with Naruto, that... It could have been the Eight Gates. Also, a common misconception in the Naruto community is that Kakashi doesn't have the Eight Inner Gates. But in fact, he does, but only the first gate of opening. Kakashi would then think that Naruto had the gates as Naruto rushed towards him, shaking his thoughts off as he knew no Genin could learn the gates. Naruto would then punch Kakashi, who sent out a punch of his own with the Sharingan, and him knowing the power and aura of the first gate would conclude that he had truly activated the first gate. Naruto would then jump back, creating six clones as they all surrounded Kakashi, getting bodied one by one by the Jonin. Naruto's clones would then all be defeated. Damn it. I'm still getting washed like some fresh out of the academy student, yelling out, Second gate, open! I knew, I knew it, but how? He shouldn't even be able to comprehend the gates. Naruto would then speed up so much so that Sasuke and Sakurai couldn't see him with their eyes, only blurs, except for when Naruto and Kakashi would attack each other or clash fist grabs and kicks, which luckily was all Naruto knew fighting-wise, making Naruto actually be able to complete with Naruto or Kakashi. And kind of tire him, as Sasuke couldn't stand seeing Naruto basically exceed his speed and probably his strength as well in his eyes as he stepped into the fight. Naruto would then jump back as well as Kakashi, who would both then throw kunai at Sasuke, who would barely be able to dodge. Slicing his shirt in the process, Sasuke would get mad. I'm your own teammate, you're supposed to be helping me, not hurting me. You're too slow. Sasuke, try to activate your Sharingan or something, because if not, you won't be a help in this battle. Sura Sakura would then say that Sasuke's not slow, as Sasuke would then tell Sakura to shut up. Naruto's right, as his Sharingan would then activate. His Uchiha blood would start to boil. He would then start to aid Naruto in fighting Kakashi, as Sakura would then create one clone who tried to aid them, but was still kind of doing something. As she also threw Kunai Kakashi, a one to Moe Sharingan Sasuke. Naruto, 12 times stronger with the gate's amp, and Sakura with the little assistance she aided, would start to overwhelm Kakashi, beating him. They would then be passed by the Jonin as they technically pulled off some teamwork, generally speaking at least. Naruto and Sasuke would then walk to their respective homes, pondering, truly letting themselves be. 
being getting set in. Naruto and Sasuke would then leave their homes, running to the training grounds, as they would then both see each other, not expecting to, as they would then decide to spar. It had seemed that they had both come to the training grounds to reach their goal. For Naruto, it was to get stronger and get closer to his dream and goal of becoming the Hokage and ridding the world of evil. And for Sasuke, it was to catch up to Itachi Uchiha and avenge his clan. Naruto would then jump towards Sasuke, commencing battle with Uchiha. And here is where I'm going to be ending this part. This, uh, well, uh, script is kind of short. Shorter than the usual video, at least. Um, and that's because uh, the April Fool's video, well, it's gonna be hopefully a banger. It's, I can't disclose his name because, well, then it would give up what the, well, what if it is. But, uh, make sure to... Check out my Discord server down below. Share the video to a friend who likes witness or just anime content in general. Comment down below your thoughts and feelings about the video down below, as well as some what is suggestions. Check out my Discord server in the description down below. Subscribe as I want to hit 5k by June and 10k by the end of the year. And as always, Rami X out.